what a morning I've had. Woo! Crazy. I'm at the hospital right now in um, Rancho Mirage at Eisenhower Medical Center. Beautiful hospital. And I'm here with a friend. I had to drive a friend in for some uh, an outpatient procedure. And uh, I was waiting inside. And I don't know. I just had to get outside. <laughs> so I came out to the car, even though it's hot. It's been a great morning. Um, this morning, one of the group uh, of women that I'm, I'm uh, taking through the steps, she did her fifth step this morning. And she's in Ireland. And I got to tell you, what a gas what a gas that is to see somebody that you know I don't even know I haven't met her she's so far away from me we've had a time difference she's been able to do the steps with this group of women on zoom it's been an amazing thing and uh, you know she did her fifth step this morning with a uh, priest um, as recommended in the book and so that was heard and then right afterwards we got on we finished with the fifth step and we did the sixth and seventh and her face was beaming i mean it was so great to see someone working on the solution and to witness that is just like uh you know it's what i used to try to get out of drinking that kind of high and i found it in alcoholics anonymous so i'm really grateful for that and i was thinking a lot today about how a lot of people think that uh, you know, you go to meetings, I, because I've been asking people, you know, are you going to meetings? Are you going to meetings? Uh, well, <laughs> you gotta go to meetings. You know, even old timers, you know, a lot of old timers quit going to meetings. And, uh, you know, I don't need meetings because, you know, so you can tell me how not to drink. I need meetings so you can tell me how to live sober. I don't, I like to hear about how people live sober. Sobriety is not my strong suit. <laughs> it's not my normal state of being. I mean, let's just be honest. My normal state is drunk and loaded. So being sober feels awkward, odd, uncomfortable. I get irritable, restless, discontent. So the question is not really getting sober. It's how do you stay sober? How do you live sober, right? You gotta have a strong answer to live sober and to deal with life on life's terms, especially nowadays. So I, I believe that's in the 12 steps and in the first 164 pages of the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous. I found an answer there. It's a solid answer. It's one of depth and weight and it changes every day for me. So I don't get tired about going to meetings. And like Dr. Bob says, I owe, I owe, pay it forward, right? Pay it forward. I can't pay it forward from my couch. <laughs> I can't pay it forward from the comfort of my couch, right? I gotta get up and I gotta move around and I gotta see who needs help. I gotta ask God for help so I can have some kind, I can be useful today. Otherwise, I am a box of rocks. Let me tell you, a very self-centered, selfish box of rocks. Buy me, bring me, take me, what can you do for me now, right? So it takes a lot. It takes a lot of God, right? get up and go to the emergency room today or the hospital right everybody in there's got COVID <laughs> God help me right I had to take a test before I even came and I thought God they should really test me when I leave but you know what I want to be helpful today I believe I'm gonna be safe and protected no matter what whether people are drinking using whatever I have got an answer and uh, same answer it's free it's available to all of you I love you Bye.